Hello, this is uh, Abhishek Singh and Sandesh Hegde trying to present to you our app, which is Classroom Helper app, uh, which tries to solve a problem which students face on a day-to-day -day basis. And uh, therefore, uh, in this our in this app, we have uh, tried to implement some of the uh, solutions to those problems. So I'd like to tell you those problems first. So what happens is if you are trying to you know approach your teacher for any clarification of doubts or um, uh, in case you are left behind in a course you want to you know approach your teacher but let's say you have exams you know uh, coming very soon or even during exams it's kind of difficult to you know approach your teacher and if she is busy or he is busy uh, you know to get a simple doubt cleared it takes a lot of time so if a student is left behind in the course if you know because of some reason he is left behind in the course and if he wants to approach the teacher and uh, it's not really easy you know it's difficult even in classroom because if you are left behind and if you want to ask some basic doubts uh, or say, say simple doubts of previous class also you know it's, uh, students feel shy to ask them in the class also uh, we see that if uh, you are having exams going on to approach a teacher during that time is really difficult so we see that classroom uh, is uh, still backward in that uh, kind of uh, scenario moreover uh, if someone wants to get a notification about any event or about any assignment or uh, about any important notice uh, that is uh, that is put up on the notice board inside the college or school he has to you know approach his friend if he has missed the class or he has to you know ask the teacher uh, and again if uh, he is not able to you know get the notification important notification if only some students are able to get the notification about certain events or certain workshops certain assignments you know then some are left behind so in all such case scenarios we are not using technology to its fullest extent uh, and therefore we wanted to create an app which can be used officially in order to you know uh, you know fill the gap between the teacher and the student and therefore uh, we are using uh, this uh, parse cloud api implementation in our app in order to uh, send notifications uh, display the latest notifications on the display board or notice board as well as create a message board which allows students and teachers to communicate all right let's first of all begin with teachers registration okay so as you can see just by clicking on new user sign up uh, I can get into the teacher get into registration form here there are two options to register whether you are a student or teacher i'll just write teacher at uh, gmail.com and uh, password uh, let's say asdf college name iit boundary Now, this college name is uh, kind of uh, important here because in case uh, you are registering as a student and uh, let's say you want to say uh, you want to message in the message board, but uh, let's say you want to misuse it, then we can always trace back your uh, registration details from this form and get the details <coughs> about the student and you know uh, if a teacher wants to know about him. So this is an easy way of getting back the details in case of any misuse of the anonymous message board and by clicking sign up you are signing up as a teacher now all right so uh, now that we are registered we are going to sign up sign login as a teacher okay login and uh, within a few moments we should be able to log in actually uh, i wanted to uh, create this video in a mobile phone but uh, since we have we, we need to show notifications between the users and therefore uh, i had to implement it uh, this way so this is basically the subject code or we can say the list of subjects this is in scroll view so you the teacher can always select the subject and send notifications however now we do not have any subjects here so we need to add a subject so to add a subject we need to click click on create group channel
and over here we can write the subject code or uh, a group code I can say so uh, let's say let's name it uh, electronics right so the teacher wants to send notifications to all those students who are in electronics group now what is important to here to understand here is that you can create as many groups as you want so for each different class you can have a different group uh, a group channel and you can send notification to each channel differently as well as send notifications to all the channels together if all the students are subscribed to a single channel so this way you can easily send notifications globally as well as uh, to a few people or few you know groups so this is how it works so let's create the group first electronics channel created and now if I go back moment. so send notifications okay. so this is not really shown up because it needs to refresh however let me just show you the doubt section before we go ahead with this so this is the doubt section here as you can see there have been many questions asked by students and teacher can just click on a question which, which is the best software to code android and just write the answer okay and click to update with the answer this way a teacher can answer a student's question and therefore it will be answered you see eclipse is added in the answer over here so uh, for each and every question she will be able to update the question with an answer so uh, this is how to implement question answer or uh, uh, you know doubt discussion kind of message board right now let's get back uh, to sending notification but to receive a notification or to send a notification i think i have to log in again okay one second let's log in again yeah as you can see the subject code electronics is added here so i can just click on it and send notifications however right now nobody subscribed to electronics and if i just click on send notifications and uh, just write something like uh, bring graphs graph book tomorrow if I click on send, uh, though it is sent, it is not received by anyone because for the reason that nobody is currently in the electronics group, right? So let's solve this problem. Let's uh, log in, create a create an account as a student. So let's say student at gmail.com anything we can keep uh, let's say uh, okay let's keep it down. and uh, I can write write it down there again again as I said this is stored in the database of parse cloud so it can always be traced back by the students uh, registration form so I can now sign up as a student and I can log in okay so student at gmail.com ASD password which I have registered with and after I click login I can I can see these three options to subscribe for notifications or not see the notifications or go to doubt section. If I go to notifications board, there is a, actually there are no notifications because I have not really subscribed to any channel or any group uh, for example electronics I am not subscribed to it right so I need to subscribe to ele for electronics I need to go to subscribe for uh, notifications and then I have to write the group code right so electronics as it is seen on the left side right electronics and search and subscribe if I click on search and subscribe I will be subscribed to this channel and now I can receive all the notifications uh, uh, for those who have uh, for those uh, notifications which are sent to and if I see the notification currently it says 
you are subscribed to channel electronics right all right now uh, i'll click on send let's see what happens let's go to student and let's see what happens um, you see bring graph books tomorrow is appearing in the uh, notification as soon as the teacher sends it now if i go to notifications I can always uh, check the previous notifications, right? So let's go back and let's see the doubt section. Here I can ask my question so that teacher can answer my question. So let's say, uh, what is uh, I can. And I click on send. So you see, what is I can is currently shown up in the uh, message or doubt discussion board. I can go back and again I can go to notifications. And see the previous notifications right so uh, let's you know send another notifications for test but this time let's create another uh, you know channel for create another group channel so that the student can subscribe to it so let's say this time it's college college um, or I can just name it IIT Bombay create the channel so now IIT Bombay channel is created I can just go to subscribe for notifications and I can write IIT Bombay search and subscribe in case uh, the, not the subject code is not mentioned here or group code is not mentioned here uh, the, the teacher can always click on send notifications and then write the subject code there as well. And then so you can add so you can add the notification. And if you can see you should be receiving a notification. You see, tomorrow is a holiday. So this is how uh, this particular app is implemented and uh, so this solves the problems of uh, students uh, by a lot of ways that and it's really cost effective they do not have to spend any money in order to uh, get this notifications and uh, any one any college or any student can implement it uh, because this is uh, for free and the cloud that we are using is sparse cloud and we are using its API to send notifications or to store any information in the database and therefore uh, Parse Cloud is free for 30 requests per second so uh, it's pretty much uh, free uh, for our usage and other than that other than that it's uh, it solves uh, the soft it can be installed on any uh, Android phone and people can use it and there is uh, there are, there is no other app uh, like this with this particular prototype. I feel because uh, even though you try to use this uh, app uh, as a, as an option for let's say WhatsApp, you know, let's say WhatsApp can solve this problem. Uh, but you know, uh, in WhatsApp you have to share your mobile number, and you cannot message anonymously. Moreover, uh, in case of any problems, we can always trace back the registration information. So, but uh, nobody can message anonymously and getting group notifications uh, is also difficult because you have to manually add each and every member here the user himself can enter the code and subscribe to as many channels as he wants and groups as he wants also whatsapp is limited to 100 members our app is not limited to any number of members per, for each group okay it can be extended to as many members as possible that is another uh, advantage
all sources possible. In this part of the video, we are going to check the notification on a mobile device, right? So when teachers send notifications to electronics group, will they receive the notification in the real mobile device or not? That is what we are going to check. Okay. So, uh, once again. Alright, so here I have my mobile device logged in as a student and on the left in an emulator I am having the teacher logged in. So I am going to select electronics and click on send notifications. Right? Now you can see on the bottom we have electronics written and I am going to write some notification here. Let's get back to mobile device. In mobile device, I currently have no notifications, so I should be receiving notifications. Right? Okay. So, as you can see. Alright. So, uh, let's uh, write something. Bring uh, drafter tomorrow. Okay. And send. Let's go to a mobile device and let's see how long does it take to receive it. Alright. If you can see, it says bring drafter tomorrow. 